So, like, what's the future for you? Like, where do you see yourself? What do you see yourself doing? You know? So, sold out shows everywhere across the world. I can't even lie to you. Like, my manifestations have been crazy and the things I've been dreaming of. You know, dreams are real, bro. Those things happen, bro. Imagination. Yeah, bro. Like, those things are real. Like, I'm telling you, when you lock into the universe, bro, and, like, you manifest and you feel, like, right now, in this present moment, if you feel, if you want to, let's say, achieve something and you just associate yourself with that feeling of what, how you'd feel when you reach that point, then it would be so crazy for you because now you actually will. You're just calling it to you, you're manifesting it. So like I'm seeing myself on crazy stages, in crazy places, in, bro, I'm telling you, it's gonna be so crazy. Mm. Like, yeah, this music, this music career is going to go far. Going far. Very far. And, and to be honest, I love how you said that with the, the manifesting, the feeling. What does it feel like to perform in front of hundreds of thousands of people? What does it feel like to be playing football in, in a stadium in front of thousands of people? You know, what does that feel like? It's okay, I just, is it okay if we can close the window? Oh, it's too hard, huh? Okay, no. Hey, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, but she's whoa. a girl, she can say that. <laughs> True. She's a girl, she can say that. Um, no, but yeah, what does it feel like? You know, that, that's the power to see it, to feel it, to, to bring that into reality. Then you put in the action. So now that's cool that you've been on that wave and, and look, look, look what's been happening. And even me, it's the same like, you know, when we're doing, what does it feel like to have a hundred thousands in yeah, your bank yeah, and, and yeah, podcasting yeah. and doing whatever you love doing, you know, and you can bring that. It exists. It exists in physical reality. You know, sure. a lot of people, we get like, blinded by what we see if things are not well in my life but that's not your reality if you go and close your mind and you see in your imagination you doing what you love and being there and feeling that you're gonna it's gonna come to you true that's so true and i'm telling you because like me and my best friend in school all the time i used to just tell this guy bro like when i'm out of this because i was finishing before him i was just telling him when I'm out of this school, bro, wait and see this music thing, bro. Just wait and see. Because I was thinking about it so much when I was in school. I was dreaming about it. I was just talking about it all the time. I already knew my name even before. Like, I already knew I was going to call myself Milo Star even before I started music. I already knew, like, what I was going to do. I know you're watching this video, but real quick, please, guys, please, make sure you, you take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Go and hit the subscribe button so we can keep giving you guys content so you guys can be notified as soon as we drop as soon as we drop some news and information that's really going to help you and then another thing guys and by the way subscribing it doesn't cost any money does nothing no dollars just go in there hit the subscribe button again spotify make sure you download our episodes on spotify we are exclusive to spotify because we are getting that deal you know what i'm saying we're getting that million dollar deal so if you want to listen to the Rubasha family podcast you have to go on spotify mm. so like when you know and you have, um, and you've set your mind to something, and you feel like, not you feel like, you know you'll achieve, you know, you can't even be feeling things at this point, you know. Like, the thing about um, manifestation is like, you have to say it like, like you already have it, like you have to feel like you already have it. So when you do get it, it's, it's like, bro, you already know how it feels, like you already know how to go about it. So like, just talking about it, feeling it, thinking about it, dreaming about it, sleeping on it, waking up, thinking about it. Bro, oh, all that's on my mind was music. So like, yeah, mm. I get to trust. That's, that's so powerful, bro. You're so right. And like, like you said, it was always on your mind. You were talking about it. When you have a dream, when something's in your imagination, it's all you can think about, you know? True. And the fact that like, man, you have to know, you have to expect it. And even me, I've been in this state recently where it's like, it's already done. Like, I'm thankful for it, I'm mm -hmm. grateful. I'm walking, even though shit, it might be chaos in my world, things are happening, I've, I'm, I have no money, just things are happening crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that, nah, it's already done. Everything mm -hmm. that I want, it's here, and I'm grateful for it. So, you know, and then it happens in your reality, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just how powerful we are. True, your mind is very powerful, and also your words are very powerful, bro. Watch what you say and watch what you think, because what you say you can, you, 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 what you say can literally manifest into reality. So watch what you say, but they say positive in your mind. Make sure you're thinking positive, make sure you're grateful, make sure 
you're speaking words, good words and kind words to yourself, bro. And also to other people. If you go around abusing people, bro, your mind can't tell the difference between you and another person. You're talking to yourself, bro. <laughs> you're literally talking to yourself, bro. Literally. So just watch you, what you watch what you say. You know, watch that's me. one huge thing. Like people get so wrong. And and even me myself, I used to do it. You mm. judge another person, your brain doesn't know that you're talking about someone else. Mm -hmm. So you're judging another person and saying this person's like this, this person's like this, but your brain thinks it's talking about you. Mm -hmm. Even me to this day, if I'm in a situation and my mind, my ego starts to judge someone else, my, I say to myself, Eve, remember, you're talking about yourself. True. And then it makes me have empathy, have True. empathy. Because if I have empathy for someone else, I'm gonna have empathy for myself. So, so when you talk about someone else and you have an energy towards someone else, if it's a negative, it's gonna reflect back to back, you. Yeah. If it's positive, it's gonna reflect back to you know back to you. So speak what you want to see in the world. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Literally. You know? Hey guys, I'm here at the headquarters of Pro Visa Services, where you can get first class professional service. You see, life is all about the service that you provide other people. How can you obsess over other people's problems? How could you obsess? in the finer details in order to achieve your dreams. As a first generation African immigrant, know what it's like to live here in Australia. The beauty, the life, being able to see my loved ones every single day. And we know so many other people want to be able to share and cultivate that experience. Well, here at ProVisa Services, you get just that, a family environment where you're able to make your dreams come true. Make sure to follow ProVisa Services and the Rabasha Family Podcast. The laws of attraction, bro. It's literally what what you what you speak and what you put out there is what you attract. If you speak and think negativity, you're going to attract negativity. If you think and speak positivity, you're going to attract it. That's literally just a law of the unit, law of attraction, bro. Mm. Do your homework, man. Love it. And, and that's what I love about this, Miles, you know, because mm -hmm. like we as a young generation now, I feel sometimes like, especially within African culture, you know, it's very easy with conditioning to go off traditions or to go off like our parents and our parents' parents, you know, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes things are old, but we're living in an age where we can come and express ourselves. True. We can come and talk about these things. We can come and be vulnerable, you know, and, and use the power of social media to help like what you've said in this episode is powerful to someone who's watching you know sure. it's going to resonate with someone you know what i mean so like yeah. i'm proud that we can sit down here bro as brothers as family as cousins yeah. talk about this help each other's platforms and mm -hmm. even for you as well like what you're doing and this is great that you're on this show you know why mm -hmm. because we want to i want people to know more of who you are if you can be posting vlogs on your youtube channel mm -hmm. you know you, you can now start to scale you get vlogs on youtube you do mm -hmm. things bro your music is just gonna you got to build that brand true i get you you're all about your brand you are your brand so basically i get what you're saying bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get on podcast get you know vlog you know show more people behind the scenes bro mm -hmm. I'm telling you bro you're gonna you're gonna go crazy bro, amen bro yeah. yeah bro if you really enjoyed this video make sure to click here and i'm sure you're gonna love that one